like. Okay, so let's actually get started on what some real in-game stuff. Because I feel like we haven't done goddamn anything yet. Let me just uh, buy up some of these skills. God knows, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I'm not using. I don't know why. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So I thought I had done a lot more when it come to coming to augments and stuff. This secret augments is... I don't remember that. But, whatever. We'll learn together. I think she does have everything in Sorcerer stuff. Yep. Yeah, she totally does. Okay. No, that's fine. And I don't know what these secret arguments are. Yes. Uh, but I am going to change. What will it be today? Can I not do that? Hmm. What will it be today? Your pick. Right, I'm going to change my vocation. And... Wow. Really? Yeah, Magic Archer is maxed out. And Strider is maxed out. And Fighter. So let's make this interesting. Let's go Assassin, since I don't have anything there. And uh, we'll play this like a brawler. Since I think that'll be more interesting for everybody, since everything else is maxed out. And that's a little boring to watch me... Fuss around with this. Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? Yes, Have your pick. Any you like. Nope. Have your pick. Any you like. Take what will it pick. be today? All right. Let's see. What do we got? Oh, a bunch of stuff. This. I was still gonna be my pretty pretty princess, and first strike, compass slash right. That's fine. Hundred kisses, cunning one, fast strike. That's fine. And we'll make this moving castle. And we should be good to go. What will it be today? Have your pick, any you like. Come again soon. All right. So, first things first. Whoa. I'm naked. I need to. First things first. I need to. Bonds are. They have. They laugh at jest. There's not a man can tell what a pawn is. Myself, I've noticed. Okay. Your big. Right, thanks. And you like. Uh, I need to put some clothes on. Come again soon. Back button. Oh man, I'm so used to my PC controller at this point. I'm like <laughs> hitting the entirely wrong parts of controllers in order to uh, go into start menus. All right, let's see. Weapons. I don't have any good swords, do I? Eh, we can still take this stuff. For the first few missions, this shouldn't matter all that much, but I'm definitely going to have to go back in and get some of my better-looking stuff. And... I can't believe I'm dress up again already. Man, I swear. And we'll do this direwolf cape, because it looks pretty cool. Keep this ring on. All right. And then layers should be the same thing, or ours should be the same thing. And then these dudes, who I'm not going to change. Okay, we are ready to go. So, as I was saying before I realized that I was naked, uh, first things first, we look at the board, and we take everything. Oh, right, I can't, hmm. Well, okay, that's still fine. That's still fine. Ah, 
They call him the Elysian, a name I hear far. Well, keep them. Let's see. So there's that quest board, and there's a quest board over here at the pub. Ah, there it is. This must be an alehouse. Okay. Well, maybe they did change that. Many's the person comes to drink Those work notices in the alehouse. So we wander around looking for quests, but they're all quests that need to take place outside of weapons and sun This way leads on to the encampment. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Loads. So let's go do some quests, even if they're dumb escort missions. At the very least, we can see some cool... Oh yeah, she is with us. Also in Pretty Pretty Princess gear. Is that the princess? Oh, totally. Okay, that's weird. So we are taking the princess somewhere. Where is the map? I need to see where we're going. Oh, it's not even going to show me. Is it? Oh, we're going back to... Oh, we're going back to Casardus. Okay, well... We're going back to Casardus. <laughs> so I guess this is kind of the big part... Or the big problem I have with the side quests is why I don't normally do them. Um, they are mostly just getting somebody to part of the map that you've already been to. Um... Which is, gets a little boring, because most of the time there's very little variation on things that you actually see on the path from one place to another. Uh, the only varying times are when it's dark or if there's an event happening. And this is still early in the game, so we're not going to get too many large-scale enemies. Um, so for this quest, it's pretty much going to be follow the road, and you'll get there. Actually, so one of the things that is um, interesting about this game is that it's got a lot of chatter. Um, and I don't really mind the chatter, but it's one of the things that people have a big problem with, because uh, pawns tend to talk to a lot surrounded. about everything, um, whether it's important or not. We'll take this road this time. Um, I don't know, I think it's cool to have, you know your companions talk about what's here and what's not, especially with ha with, uh, how, um, within how the pawn system works, where every pawn is supposed to have information about um, areas that you've been to or haven't been to yet. Ran, <laughs> I ran out of... Uh, Stamina there. Is that true, Nino? Done. I don't know, I think the bigger problem, or the bigger thing is, considering this is an expansion pack, I would kind of hope they would have more to say. But I've never really minded the chatter in this game at all. It's it's a cool addition. Visibility is poor. Stay on guard. And once this is done, I will quick warp back to the Grand Soren, because we're not walking through this again. And uh We'll, we'll look at the uh, black cats. Um, actually, we'll probably That's have to escort her Watch over your step. here. That'll be the only way I do this again. If um, the bubbly shopkeeper lady is still in Casardus and needs an escort, I'll I'll walk her back. The pass is treacherous, master. But um, yeah, it's that sort of. The, I wish there was a more dense birth of quests in this game that aren't just take X person to Y location because that is the grand majority of it. Um, and even, like, you can make that interesting, but uh, you have to actually write some stuff for it and most of the quests around here are just like we need supplies, help me come up over here and keep me safe. And it's like, eh. 
Especially in the consideration of, you know, this quest. We're guiding the princess from Grand Zarin to Casardis. And it's like, you have people for that. <laughs> but you don't need me. Some pawns going on the road. I pray the day more. Do do do. That's really not. Keep moving. Snarky NPCs. So we'll go do some some story missions after this, cause my god, this side stuff is so clumsy. Keep moving. <laughs> So I'm really interested to see what they do with Dragon's Dogma 2, because, um, other than... Like, I, I really hope they learn from the mistakes that this game has, because this game really is fun once you get into the... the... the birth of it. Once you really start getting into, uh, all the, the new, interesting combat stuff that they made. Um, they just need to get there. Um, and this game, even, even if you're playing not a new game plus, even if you're just going off of a new, of a new game straight. Um, it still starts off really slow, but there's this real Dark Soulsy feels about it, where it's like, even though it's slow, it's dangerous, so um, you feel... it's, it's a, almost like really oppressive. So you always have to move pretty slowly in order to make sure that you stay alive. Now that we're doing a new game plus, it's slow and, you know, you can handle everything, so there's more of a rush to get into the story missions and really start getting to the meat of this game, because this game has a lot to offer, you just need to get to it. Um, now I know that most of the stuff that they added in for this game are for people that have been playing a lot of it, like your level 100s, your level 200s, which is why I'm kind of surprised that most of the stuff is, uh, or that the only change that happens on hard mode is, uh, uh, the amount of damage dealt from enemies, because most of the time, if you're running with a fully kitted out tour, you're going to be able to handle all that stuff. It's uh, surprising that they would do that. Alright, we're here. Back at the beginning of the game again. And I'll take a look around here, but unless... Yeah, we're gonna talk to him. Saving, I can't talk to him until. You slain the oh, I think upon I sip. Tis a relief and all your I shall strong. Yay, mission complete. Kina feels for I thought she most like stumbled on some remedy for your the last man. Maybe we'll do that. Why don't we do the Quinna quest? Because that's that's quick and it gets us to uh, some interesting places. Uh, where would oh, uh, where should you need to go? Down by the beach, boy. This game is pretty. It's just I wish the frame rate was a little better. Like I imagine, like what must this game at 60 frames per second, running at 1920 by 1280, with anti-aliasing and uh. 4x anti-aliasing on 6 or 8x anti-aliasing. What would that look like? I think that would be sick. But whichever, it should be okay one way or another. Is it, where are we going? This is taking me to the new stuff, isn't it? Hold on. Quest. We're not even going to the right place, are we? God damn it.
so is that fat thing for the DLC just going to be on my map the entire time? Uh, because if so, that's going to be annoying. Oh, damn it. So, uh, that's stupid. Okay, so I guess we're going to have a fat marker saying, hey, go do this DLC stuff. Like, man, don't... That's a bad way of doing this. Alright. Well, anyway. So let's go moving on. You know what? This girl can just ride with us for a little while. Because we can... I know where she wants to go. She wants to go to the other side of the island. And we'll go do Quinn's stuff in the meantime. Because I don't think there's anything that's actually going to be able to take her out. So she can roll with us while we go and get Quinna out of the forest. That place that she decided to go on by herself, where there's all sorts of stuff. Like, really odd that she would decide to do that, but she loves us, maybe, sort of, kinda, yes, no, who knows? This game doesn't do the affinity system all that well. <laughs> like, I didn't even realize there was an affinity system until the very end of the game. where it just decides, hey, turns out you loved this person. And I said, I did? <laughs> what? Okay. I feel like I was reading some uh, results from other people that have been playing this game, and basically they had, the game had decided that they had just fallen in love with the shopkeeper. Um, and when they had barely spoken two meaningful words of the shopkeeper, it was... I have no idea how it decides that stuff, but I guess if you don't do certain secondary missions, it just makes a decision willy-nilly, which kind of sucks, but, you know. Again, it so if you play through this game, and as we'll see as we go through Grant Soren and some other places, you can see the seams of things that were removed at the last minute. Like, you can tell that there was a big crafting side story to this, like, like gather up a ton of materials, bring them all together. In this one, the only thing you can really do with materials is create stuff like potions, healing potions or affinity potions, or stats ailment potions, stuff to cure status ailments or give you, like, more damage faster or, or more stamina, stuff like that. But you could tell that they were definitely planning on having something where you could create weapons or items or armor or, you know, add um, um, elemental... Uh, affinity to stuff. Um, yeah, you can tell that the name of the game for this one is going to be Affinity, Affinity, Affinity. But um, they were planning on doing something like that. Because uh, you can see, like, forges and blacksmith shops and stuff that you can't do anything with. Slash on. Suck at wolves. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Hey, I wonder if that rock's gonna go anywhere. I think it is. Looks like we're gonna have to jump. Or just stand right here. Kinda silly. That take damage. Why that take damage? Some actual well-designed bandits. And when I first started, this is where the game started getting really difficult, because now we're getting to the point where there's a ton of dudes. Alright, that dude's just taking off. Cool. So stupid. Okay. Let me see something real quick. 
Is it actually pointing me to the right place now? For the quest? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's fine. I guess. I guess. She wants to go way up there. All right, well, she'd be, she's going to be hanging out with us for a while. So that's fine. So basically, in order to do, in order to sort of, quote-unquote, choose who you fall in love with, you do these affinity quests for various people, and at the end of the day, it's, or at the end of the day, it tallies everything up, and uh, you make the decision, nothing back. and the game makes a decision for who you fell in love with, which is a bad way of doing it, because, whoops, because you should just let, it should just let you choose, it's like, it should be your decision, but it never is, it's, which is bizarre. It's a really weird way of handling that kind of stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's, it's sort of, uh, the AI for bandits is sort of very, um, uh, uh, not bad, but, um, launcher combo. Very um, serious scene where they all just sort of come, come at you running, balls out, and meanwhile you could just snipe them in the face if you want to. I'm about to hit a million, million, million gold. All right. So actually, I'm gonna change my quest marker to Lost and Found because that's where we're headed, and that should be right in front of us. And it is. So we're Bad shot. Bad shot. Combos. So, yeah, when I was, uh, when Capcom announced last year that they were going to put hard mode into this game, I thought, like, basically they were going to turn the normal game into the end game where there's all where all shit has broken loose um, and then turn the end game into something super crazy and it doesn't look like they've done that um, I can expect most uh, most big enemies to still be pretty rough though level up I mean, we haven't leveled yet. It's the first level of this uh, walkthrough, but we're not. We're still getting experience in a pretty, pretty steady click. All right. So we're heading into the Witchwood, which is basically the weird labyrinthian woods, which isn't necessarily terribly difficult to navigate, especially because you can cheat. <laughs> um, but it, it is that does get a little frustrating. Because uh, your map doesn't work anymore, because there's this weird fog of war over your map. Um, and it's pretty dark. Oh, there's Quina. Uh, no, no, this way. Yes. That's half a lantern. Hook it up to my belt, and now we can see. Lots of rabbits, and I think lots of snakes. Oh, what? A Forgive me. But I had to come. A witch walks these woods. One who understands the language of the drag. If I may find her, I she will came and she did it all for me. All the ladies love me. Yeah, we're not separated from Kina. But yeah, see, so everybody knows this this uh, quest at this point. So I, I'm running with a contingency of five, six people. That's pretty good. We are fully stacked. Water. Though it does seem to be making the frame rate hitch a little bit. So you break these to lower the fog of war. And uh, expect me to get lost because I really don't remember this area very well. Um, you only really have to come here one or twi or once or twice on the main path. But there is some there's some interesting stuff here. My dudes are handling stuff. So I got two pretty pretty princesses and a farm girl. The master wolves. 
Shut up. Run. Don't run. Don't stop what you can't finish. <laughs> ah, spiders. Right. That's the other thing. bunch of chests around here, but there's nothing that I need all that much. I just got another dire wolf cape. And let's see. I think this is the right way. So right now we are above all the paths, and if I remember correctly, you can use this path just or you can use this like above state to get directly where you need to be. Just circumvent the entire quote unquote dungeon. Yeah, I think I can see the lights. Yep, it's it's right there. We're we are here already. Need shoes. Yep, there it is. Which is good because this is one of the more annoying areas. Uh, but we can just get through it real quick. So we're at the witch's house. So, in my first playthrough, the witch ended up being my, uh... There. That must be it. Come on, cuz. Okay. Uh, the, w the witch ended up being my affinity, uh, person. Like, the game just randomly decided that I was in love with the witch, and I was like, well, okay, but not the route I would have gone. Begging your pardon, but we seek the witch of these woods. A great and aged woman? Perhaps you might have seen Spoilers, her? Spoilers, I'm the witch! The witch? You seek... Grandmother? Your grandmother? Yes. Where might we find her? I would really ask her aid in a dire embellished robbery. movements. That's nothing that... I guess that's every video game. In the end, it's still a video game, so it's like, whatever. She died. As all must. Oh. What of you then? Know you out of the dragon? Can you read the worm speak? This is a slow conversation. Faith knows. It cloaks the dragon, cloaks the truth. Those who search for truth outside the faith are branded heretics. So, so your grandmother yeah. told you not of the dragon, that the faith might be. That's, oh, that's a weird hair texture. It's like a tail. It's like a beaver tail. Yes. <laughs> then it seems we must turn to the faith if we are to learn more. Yes, so you have our thanks. We'll leave you in peace to return to our. But room. not before I loot your entire house. So you can do something I... else. This looks interesting. <laughs> yeah. Grand spoke of said not to speak. Uh, you can have this. Herbs. Ah, very well. Yeah. So everybody's gonna take everything here. Take some water. We already got all that stuff. Take the south one, oregano. Let there leave nothing. Taxes. All right, and we're done here. So that was the quest. I think that's the that quest, right? Or oh, please don't tell me we have to take her home. Actually, it's fine if we have to take her home. Map. Uh, area. Yeah, we need 
sticker on. God, man. All right. This is why it's hard to stack quests. <laughs> but there's a quick way out of here um, that'll take you basically right to Casardis. She's already off to the races. Mountain Dusky. Uh, Doritos put references on my friends list. This is weird. <laughs> so there's no enemies here, I don't think, and it just take, it poops you out right next to Casardos, so that's fine. I wish you could take this road to actually get into Casardos. Double jump. It's game about jumping and shooting. So, I mean, in the last couple of videos, I keep saying about, like, what I don't like about, or what other games do better than what this game does, and, uh, I mean, I, it feels like I'm, it may seem like I'm down on this game, and it's like, I'm not, because this game, what this game does originally and fresh is really good. Like, the combat in this game feels super good. Like, it's really, really fun, um, especially when you start finding big enemies and you're just climbing on top of dudes and stabbing them to death, because... And, but they're throwing you off, and you have to manage your stamina because you can't hold on for that long. It's, it's really cool. It's really, really interesting. Uh, but man, it's just like, it takes so long to get there. Uh, I think I'm going to take a more dangerous route in order to get to where the princess needs to go to. Um, because I'm going to show off some cool stuff. And in the meantime, we'll just unlock some stuff. Uh, some stuff that's a little bit more interesting. So, hey, you want to go see the DLC? Because I'm here. It's too early for that. Can't start the show with a showstopper? Take her home. And, oh, no, not this way. And we'll get quest complete. And we will keep going. Maybe I'll check out the quest board here if I can actually take another quest. I don't know if I can. Hey, we're done. Kina is crazy. Yeah, I know. It's cool. Level up. Uh, wait, again? This looks interesting. Wait, didn't it have me level Jeez, when I was out in the woods? And it just leveled me up again? Whatever. Whatever. 